Well, this room certainly looks familiar. After I've done my first case, it's been a little while, but now I think I'm ready for the second one. Home, or Tome Alone, not even Home Alone. We solved the case of the bloody, what was it, the woman, uh, I think it was the maid, the trap's on behind the door. Now we've got, duly suggested to visit the local library. He must have seen the strange storm gathering over it. Oh, <laughs> it's fair enough, that's, that's probably a good point. Might be worth going and have a look over there. Something's probably going on if it's only happening at the one library. This is just going to turn into a Ghostbusters episode. Whoa, okay. Yeah, this is Ghostbusters. My god. Dooley, quick, give me the lowdown. I need to know. Why are we standing outside? Okay, what's the case, Dooley? Fill me in. Case? No, I've just got some overdue books to drop back. So that purple swirling vortex thing above the building has nothing to do with why we're here. Oh, come on now, detective. You're hardly going to arrest the weather. <laughs> the things you're trying to do to justify this department. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Are you sure? Are we done in a jiffy, detective? Is there anything... Ooh, squad car. How many cases do we need to solve, do you think, to get a car that doesn't leak in the rain? It keeps us fresh sharp, even. Okay, ooh. This is the library. What a helpful plaque. <laughs> These statues make me uncomfortable. They're not very welcoming. They should at least be reading a book or wearing glasses or something. Before this, there was... Uh, before this was the library, this was where the mayor kept her line collection. Oh, right. That clears that up. <laughs> That's fair enough. Okay, let's go inside. Fines for being late? How are books late? It's not like they have places to be. You're not charming your way out of this, Patrick. Rules are rules. Patrick Dooley? Ooh. Can't we come into some kind of arrangement? Do you have any parking tickets you want to see go bye-bye? Dooley, are you trying to bribe your way out of a fine? No? Here's an arrangement for you. I'll drop your fines if you arrest that troublesome kid. Kid? The one who's responsible for the storm, and you know, the ghosts. Ghosts? What? What ghosts? Huh? Wait, what were you saying about ghosts? This place is haunted, you know, the usual stuff. The usual? Flickering lights, floating books, strange noises, eerie purple storms. It's chasing, it's chasing off the radars. Or oh, readers. Oh, I thought it said radars. I was going to say, how is it chasing radars? And you say a kid is to blame? He's the only one here who comes here often enough, suspiciously often, if you ask me. I'll look into it. Do. Or else I'll call the pair of your ballers priests and or questionable ghost-busting startup to come fix this. Uh, what books did Dooley borrow? He had rules to, <laughs> rules to rave to. <laughs> what the fuck? Roswell, New Mexico, where the aliens really experiment on us. And the law, what it is and do we really need it? Hey, what happened to the librarian reader privilege? Or policy? That's not a real thing, buddy. I'll take it when you give up on the law book. I take it you gave up on the law book. My god, I cannot speak at the moment. Not enough pictures. Uh, what's that you're reading? Guy Light, the heartbreaking tale of a girl who falls in love with a reverse vampire. Of a what now? A reverse vampire. He can only come out during the day. <laughs> I'm at the part where it's her prom night and he promised to take it, but the clock's went forward and now it's, in, <laughs> now it's on at night. What happens if he goes out at night? He gets really sleepy. Sounds interesting. Why? It sounds awful, detective. <laughs> oh, God. If you need anything else, I'll be here, unless, you, unless it's not. Okay, uh, books. Ooh. Is this your to-read pile? Oh, I've read all those. The desk is missing a leg, so I'm using them to balance out the computer. Uh, Dooley. I thought you found owning books suspicious. It is. What kind of secret stuff are you reading that you can't get from your local library? Maybe people just like having their own books. Maybe it's a germ issue. Germs? You really will believe anything Hollywood tells you. Ooh, from a certain angle, this looks like a silly sideshow clown here. Oh, God's sake. Silence is shh. Ooh, these brownouts seem to uh, seem to me like they're frustrating for reading conditions. Hmm, nothing to talk to the librarian about. Let's go to the office. Coat rack. Looks like some of these coats have been here for years. We should go through their pockets. You know, for evidence. Ooh, I got a button. Sweet. Uh, an old photocopier. I can't imagine this gets much use. Oh, it does. When you renew your card each year, Doris takes a photocopy of your butt for the records. <laughs> Everyone's butt. Just mine, now that I think of it. That's the price of working out, I guess. <laughs> okay, uh... I got this for Doris last time I had to get out of this prep paying fees. I'm gonna have to up the ante this time. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Um... Brr, what else is there? Let's have a look. Uh, computer. The computer seems to be broken. It's not broken, it's hollow. So they can store more books in it. Fuck's sake. Never know when I need to cut something in half, or a lazy approximation of half. Got some scissors. Even the lamp is flickering. Okay. 
I really enjoy the access to the secret areas this job gets us. Staff only, not on our watch. He's got a good point, you know? He's got a real good point. Roses are red, violets are blue. Your loaning rights are revoked due to books overdue. Oh my god. Right, let's go back. Uh, yeah, let's get to the elevator. An old elevator. Uh, where is the staircase? We have none. There was a fire and ironically the fire escape was the only thing that was destroyed. <laughs> Ooh. Put the button. Aha. Put the button. I don't have the skills to wipe a normal button. Never mind this one. Oh, Scissors? Come on, Frankie. You can do better than that. Uh, the fourth floor. Terraphobia? Fear of the murder of... Uh, fear of the number four. It's quite common for buildings in China to be missing the fourth floor. But the fourth floor is there. Just the button is missing. Oh, yeah. And we're not in China. You have all the answers, don't you? <laughs> right, let's go to the third floor. We'll start from the top and go down to the bottom. Ooh, Professor Theodore Library. Inventor of the library. Nope, not one of us. Not one word of that is true. <laughs> Let's go have a look. Oh, hello, miss. I wasn't expecting anyone to be here. Oh, hello. My name's Raksa. I'm here to study the strange goings on. I'm guessing that's why you're here too, detective. Oh, um, sure, that's me. Always investigating stuff on purpose. Want to share what you found? Well, it's not much, but there seems to be a strange concentration of energy in the next room. I'm searching for the internet to, for a way to be able to see whatever it actually is. Well, let me know if you find anything. Cool. Who doesn't need talk in the 21st century? Uh, wait, what did he say? Most people. <laughs> yeah, he has got a fair point. I hope there's nothing... There's, uh, I hope there's no contraband in this pile. I wish. Um, you know what I mean. Let's go in there, let's have a look. Ooh. Let's see what we can find online. Ah, 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 you didn't say the magic word. God's sake, looks like I need to figure out the password. Ooh, it's radiating. Like Rax has said, I think there may be a clue, possibly. There's just too much in here to take. Even my pockets have their limits. Ooh, if it's broken, I want to look at any microfilm. I need to find another way to do so. How do you look at microfilm? That's a good point. We need to figure that out. Why would anyone have so many filings that they need a cabinet to store them in? Ah, oh, God. Dooley, you annoy me. What did you say in this room? Do you think there's such a thing as a mega film? Wow. Okay. You look uncomfortable, Dooley. It's this whole reading room thing. I mean, should we be reading right now? Can I not read anywhere else? Does this room itself read? And if so, what does it read? You have a special mind, Dooley. Chief Scully says that... <laughs> that's why she assigned me to your department. <laughs> oh, for fuck's sake, man. Ooh. He looks like he's jumping. You jumped too if someone shoved a pole up your behind. <laughs> Wait a minute. These are printouts of children's art. Look at Mr. Moneybags in his deep pockets. Rich enough so that he can pay a child artist for original works. This guy. Jeez. Uh, ooh, glue. Somebody seems to have left the glue here. It's no duct tape, but it could be useful. That's, that's actually a good idea. I've got glue. Yay. Why are these fake? Well, you can't have kids painting over the books. That's a good point. Turning duct tape into pants. Make your nether sustainable. How to do how to do DIY yourself. How to do it yourself yourself. I'm really good at DIY. I get my sister to do it for me. Fuck's sake. Things you can fill jam jars with, volume three. Wow, okay. Let's go on to the second floor. How do we go back? There we go. Let's hit the second floor, because we don't need to go to reception right now. Ooh. Don't blink. Oh, God. Fucking Doctor Who references. I did talk to him in this room, did I? Ooh, I don't see why you're sticking around here, detective. You couldn't have said that when I picked up the glue, no? Sometimes I feel like you don't see me as anything more than a ha-ha sidekick. <laughs> Fuck's sake. Right, let's go. Second floor. Sci-fi and stuff. What odd leaves this plant has? That? That's just the dead tree where Doris dries her stockings. Oh, grim. Well, what did the rabbi and the priest talk about in the library? I don't know. Nothing. Libraries are a place of quiet respect and solitude, which is why they're both respecting. <laughs> you need to work up your stand-up material. <laughs> Fuck's sake, man. Ooh, library card. How convenient. I'd have expected to go through a series of semi-logical puzzles to get this. <laughs> oh, I just noticed the chess set is moving on its own. Fantastic Orbit. Drowned in moonlight. Strangled by our own bra. That sounds like a fun book. I like these magnetic chess sets. I don't think these pieces are magnetic. Sure, how else would they be moving, detective? Uh, good point. Oh, I wonder if there's... Come on, Frankie, you can do better than that, scissors. I'd rather try something else first. Glue. Come on, Frankie. Ah, oh, come on, Frankie. Wait, let me look at that. The library card of one smug face Paul Conway. Ooh. A button from an old coat. Great evidence, Dooley. <laughs> oh, God's sake. Okay. I never understood this section. How can something be fiction and science? I don't know what that has to... I don't know what to do with you sometimes. Give me a raise? Yeah, that's a good point. 
If we lived in medieval times, we'd be living the adventurers of ye dark side bailiff and his squire Dooley. I wanted to be an astronaut when I was younger, until I found out that they had to go into space. <laughs> Look like some of the rocket's aluminium is coming off. That could be useful. Ooh! Ooh, there we go. That's pretty sweet. Ooh. What about this one? The words are short, and I think I can read the whole book from what cover to cover. Ooh. That ain't suit for my age range. I read a book about books of my age range, and they're all books about boys and wizards and talking dogs. Okay, I'll try it. I hope I like it because I've read all the books about boys and wizards and talking dogs in here. That guy's talking to a spirit. <laughs> Why your parents don't love you. I hope I can have a pet robot someday. Too many responsibilities. Feeding it, rubbing its belly, teaching it to overthrow humanity. Why would you teach you that? I want to be on the good side when the inevitable happens. <laughs> I've always loved trains and trams, not monorails though, thinking they're better than everyone else because they're up in the air. Good point, Dooley. Nobody, not one person needs kids to be talking like there's somebody invisible with them. <laughs> oh, there's a cold draft coming from the vent. That can't be good for this kid's health. Uh, I wonder if it, ooh. Can I, 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 ooh, no. Can I glue it up? No. Oh, it was a dinosaur. The dust is, ooh. The dust is wrong under this. It makes me think it was moved recently. Okay. Ooh. A Viewmaster. I had one of those as a kid. I'll take this and I'll see if I can find a use. It's times like this that I missed uh, walking the beat. Oh, I've got a Viewmaster. Ah! Come on, Frank. You can do better than that. Oh, it's a teddy. You look familiar. Have I arrested you before? Well, that's not right. Neat trick. What magic book did you learn to do that from, kid? It's not magic. It's nothing. Ooh. A, B, C. It's the easiest one. It's fucking Foss 5, 6. Oh, God. So I've got to try and move that bookcase at some point. Right. Who are you talking to, kid? I'm not telling you anything. I've heard what happens to people who do a snitch. Modern media is really making our job hard. Oh, God. Is there... A Wait, is there any way of, like, gluing him? Let's call that plan B. Uh, a little strip? No. Uh, a button? No. Uh, a viewmaster? I'd rather try some Just use it. I need to find some film to put in it first. Ah! Ah, ha, 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 ha. Ah, ha, ha. Uh huh, uh huh. I know where I'm going. Okay, reception. No, wrong one. Uh, I need to go top floor, and right, and then into here, and then I've got the microfilm. Da -da 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 -da. The film is too big. It's a square peg round hole situation. Shit. Crap. Uh, wait. Let's call that plan B. Can I cut out the microfilm? Well, I've destroyed some of the historical material. Let's hope there's a point to this. Now I can use it. Well, it fits. Let's look up what I didn't accidentally chop out of Twin Lakes recent history. Ooh. Spider Moss, do it again. Do it again sounds like they were on some kind of winning streak instead of having burnt down yet another stadium. Major staff cuts the city library. Ooh. Budgetary cutbacks have seen the local library reduced to a skeleton staff. I know Doris is old, but that seems a bit unfair. <laughs> It means there's very few people work here. Oh yeah, just for us now, and she's actually a retired volunteer. Tough times. Computer stock goes up, up, down, down, left, right, left, right. Hey, oh, for fuck's sake. I shouldn't have read that out loud. Maybe I've just summoned something. <laughs> <laughs> Crackpot detective claims teenagers tags for ritual meant to show the dead walk among us. I remember that. What the? Whoa. Um, hello. Who are you and how did you get in here? I am the witch that can never be unseen, the ooze from the nightmares, the knower of the unknown. Right, that's not very helpful if I'm honest. Help is there for those that know how to take it. Okay, then I'll bite, tell me, I'll knower of the unknown. What's going on here? I, uh, don't really know. <laughs> right. But I do know that the coward Yeats is protecting a hidden room, one that holds a vast power and treasures. No doubt that witch is responsible for the spectral summoning of myself and the others lies within. The others? The others. Detective, who are you talking to? I'm talking to... You know what, I don't even know how to explain this. Uh, what was all that again? Yeet, secret room, mad power within. We cool, bro? We cool. <laughs> oh shit, there's loads of people. Pray, sir, a moment of your time. Another one? Another? Ah, another spirit, yes. Then with your question, you have answered my own. Huh? Forgive me, but I wish to know if you have seen on your travels that scoundrel Crowley. Forcefully mysterious man in a city hat. The very same. I knew he lurked here, but somewhere he mentioned a hidden room. Yes, but on that matter, I shall say no more, and not until the beast is gone. But I just wanted... Not a word more, sir. Not a word more. 
Again, I say that you and I, sir, shall not converse while Crowley lurks awaiting a slip of my tongue. Oh, okay. I met your friend Yeats. He says you won't stop spying on him. <laughs> I find it most joyous to torment the man. He says you want uh, into that room you mentioned. I do. I'm the most bored here. I need something to do. Something to read. Why not just use the computer to go online? Two words. Safe search. <laughs> oh, right. Maybe I can find some kind of walkaround, please. Just stay here. I won't do anything. Uh... We need a password. Okay, so let's go. Let's fuck it. Let's just ask her. Wait. Rex, you mentioned you were looking for stuff on the internet. How do you get past the internet blocks? Up to something naughty, detective? Me? No, but I have this friend who needs to get past the library firewall. Well, that's quite protected, surprisingly. I think Doris was worried somebody would try and hack into and steal her unpublished fanfiction. But I figured out the admin password so I can bypass the block. Want me to give it to you so we can use it too? Please. Yay, admin password. Sweet. Let's see what we can find online. Looks like we need to figure out the password. Oh, yeah. Duh. <laughs> One, two, three, four. Now Crowley should be able to browse to his heart's content. I'll let him know. Okay, I'll set you up so you should be able to browse whatever you want. No restrictions. Excellent. You, um, you may want to stick around for this. You may not want to stick around for this. Right, I'll leave you to your business. So, shut the door on the way out. Oh, for fuck's sake. Did I sense? Yes, the beast eyes are focused elsewhere. The air is clearer now. Well, clearer is maybe not the term I'd use. <laughs> Come again, sir? Never mind. Just don't go into that room if you can avoid it. As you suggest. Now, what's all this about a hidden room? I shall show you what I can. There is a place hidden behind the horror section of the fourth floor. A source of the phantasmic pollution afflicting these buildings within. How do you get in? One of the blocks in the L section is a lever. Put it Oh, one of the books in the L section is a lever. Put it and fix this. Godspeed, man. Hear that? Hear what? Oh, yes, of course. I need to get to the fourth floor and open the secret room using one of the books for the L section. Wait, how do you know all this? Intuition? <laughs> okay, good point, good point. Uh, well, let's go, let's go downstairs. I wonder if there's anyone about. Uh, no one at the minute. Can we, is there anything that we can talk? Your elevator's broken, there's no button for the full floor. Yup, hope you don't want to read any horror books. Well, I'd like to be able to go there. Oh, well, sorry, I guess. Oh, great, thank you. Wonderful. Just glue it. Uh, can we put glue on the button? I can't put glue on the, I put, can't put glue on the button. I can't put the button on that. Uh, ooh! Wait, can I... Yeah, make the button conductive. I've got a conductive button. Now put the button on there. This should work, but I need to find something with the skills to wire it up. You're gonna keep wearing the, uh... <laughs> You're gonna keep wearing that toy as we wander through the building. Dooley, we discovered a case. The case of the missing marbles, maybe. Can I get a dually? Wait, how do... How do I... Uh, I don't know. I need to find somebody with the skills to wire it up. Uh... Right, well, the only person that is around that might be- Oh, hello. Whoa, okay. I read your detective books wonderf uh, wonderfully over the top. Oh, hey, big fan of your work. Thanks, not you. Oh. <laughs> I think you should read this one. I read this one and thought it was good. What's it about? It's a story about this kid who can see a dead people. Oh, that's not for me. I'm scared of ghosts. <laughs> okay. Right, uh, le uh, yeah, you know what, we'll talk to her then. I feel I find myself in the company of a rather dreadful bunch. Rot is the lot of them. The kid? No, he's charming. I mean, the others. Occultists, horror writers, and DIY fanatics. Horror is the lot of them. Uh, oh, is there, is there, is there really nothing else? Oh, okay. Can you see the ghost too, kiddo? Ghosts, what nonsense are you filling this head with, detective? I see them, they're my friends. Well, this one is. Some of them are less friendly. But I like them because before they came, the place was empty. Just me and Doris, and she only re interested in reading the most, the most dreadfulest books ever written. Hmm. Okay, so now I need to go back. I need to find out who can like wire this bloody button up, man. Uh, is there anything over here? Oh no, this is where I just was. Duh. All right, let's go back. Uh, in the elevator, uh, reading room. And let's go have a chat with her. Hello. Thank you for your help with that, Roxanne. No problem. I'm here to help a man. <laughs> uh, what did you need to look up anyway? Best not talk about it. I just hope he doesn't show up in the library usage bill. Uh, okay, so that's it. So I can't ask her for help. Uh, I think I'll leave him with some privacy. <laughs> oh, damn. Oh, Gail. Ah, are you an author too? I don't recognize you. Aye, but not like you yon toss with their library fiction. I wrote useful stuff. The house wiring and how to do it your own plumbing. Think you can fix the elevator? With the right gear, I could. I I need a new button, mind. There you go. Could this button replace the broken one in the elevator? Let me see. Looks like it will do the job. Gives a few minutes to pop it in place. 
Sweet. So that's the button done. We can go upstairs. Okay, let's go. Come on, let's go. Let's go. Let's, let's, let's go. Hey, thanks for fixing the air about Gal. Happy to help. It was fun doing something useful again. Cheers. Oh, look, Doris wants to finally fix the elevator button. No, it was... Never mind. Yeah, look at that. A collection of books that don't seem to fit anywhere else in the library. Like how to cook a dinosaur if you ever catch one. <laughs> the Internet and Other Fads. Architecture of the Mind by Cerebellum. And MMO Accountancy by the fictional banker you always knew them were. Okay, so I can't go left, so it is only going right. Right, ooh. Looks like you can get on the roof out here. Thankfully, it's locked. I'd rather not go back out into that storm. That's one of a heck of a view of the city. I can't see anything through this viewmaster. <laughs> I won't tell anyone if you want to take it off. I will, but just not yet. Ooh. You barely make a teenage girl's whimper, Howie. Only because they cannot fathom the dread I conjure, Eddie. Fucking HP Lovecraft. You, you play on common cliches. Your penny dreadfuls like true horror. At best, spooky pulp. Edgar Allan Poe. Your best works aren't even written by you. Charlatan, fraud, undid trickster. If you feel that way, then why did you hide my work, Eddie? Again, I say, I do not have your book. You probably hid it because it was too scary for you. Cow, you're an infuriating man. I'm not shocked to find there's something nasty hidden behind this. I just need to figure out a way to open it. KL. Okay, ooh. What's going on here? I didn't take this blasted book. It was that childish blighting woman. Why don't you tell him that? He will not listen to me. He's convinced I hid it so more people would borrow the books over his. Nonsense. I care not for this current Ziegel test. My works are vastly superior. He's being such a child. I'm clearly the great horror writer. I tore apart the minds of the generation with my aesthetic horror. With your aesthetic rubbish. Right, I'll have you, mate. <laughs> Come at me, you silly twerp. You two, stop it. I'll put you both in some kind of supernatural slammer. He started it. Oh, never mind. It was you and your... I don't care who started it. I'm putting a stop to it. Right, right here. And not a peep. Ooh, the book Yeats mentioned is missing. I didn't know you were a fan of Lovecraft. Hmm. You're looking at the Lovecraft section. A bit too godless for my tastes. Hmm. I wonder if the missing books is one of Blighton took. Alright, so it is. Okay, let's go back down. Reading room. Where is she? Where is she? I'm going the wrong way. Where are you? Reading room. No, uh, I need to go to the second floor, not this floor. Come on. Let's go. And let's go make sure that we can get the book back. Excuse me, did you steal Lovecraft's book? He and that Poe fellows won't stop fighting over which one is more frightful book. I took his book in the hopes it would stop their arguing. It seems to have just made it worse. Well, I shan't give it back until they stop their silly bickering. I shan't. How am I meant to stop the two fighting? That's not my concern. You want this book, you stop their fight. There's got to be a scarier book than theirs around here. Surely that would stop their bickering. Uh... So... Aha, so I've got the book that she's reading. To borrow the book, you need a library card. Can I sign up for one? Um, no, I'm too busy reading my book to help. Soz. Dooley, can I use your card? It still has fines on it. I bet you'd wish you'd let me take the deal now, huh? Uh, I've got one anyway. Where's the window to the roof locked? For health and safety reasons. Can I get the key? Afraid not. Why? For health and safety reasons. Oh, for God's sake. If you need anything else, I'll be here. Unless I'm not. Okay, so I have a library card. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books. Like this one? Like this one, yes. Oh, good. But not this one. It's not yours. That's not even your face on it. Oh, for fuck's sake. Oh, okay. I gotcha. Uh, I really don't want to put my face on here, but I really want to need a picture of myself. The things I do for the job. Okay, so. So, take that. Uh, I feel like I'm back in kindergarten art class. Sticky photo. And now we put the photo on there. Yes. This is going to be the least convincing fake ID I've seen in all my years as a cop. Oh, man. There we go. I'd like to borrow that book you're reading. You need a library card to borrow books like this one? Oh, well then, here you go, Paul. Paul, my name is... My name is Paul. Like it says on the card, my card. Paul, Paul, Paul. <laughs> you see, the trashy novel. Okay, so now I can go back upstairs and go give the trashy novel to that lot. There we go, trashy novel. Is this my book? No, it's not. What is it? Most horrific novel ever written, and it's not even written by either of you. Let me see that. Teenage girl, blah, blah, blah. Reverse vampire, blah, blah, blah. Love story. It sounds terrifying. Its very existence gives me shivers. Do you agree it's more horrific than your works? Will you stop squabbling? Agreed? Agreed. Can you believe something so hideous exists? Can you believe it's so popular? Stoker must be turning in his grave. I hope the poor chap doesn't know. Okay, sweet. Well, they're gone now. Back to finding the book so I can go get that book now. Nice one. Downstairs, uh, sci-fi and horror for the children's section and get the book. 
Uh, I've gotten them to agree on the scariest book. Can I have the novel now? Good. I don't, uh, I don't see why you'd want this vile thing, but I did promise here. There we go. Oh, you're in the kid's illusion, detective. <laughs> oh, no. The horror. Not like it was creepy as fuck. <laughs> Let's go back to the horror section, put the book in, and then we can go behind the walls. There we go. Here goes nothing. It seems to fit with the curious clicking noise. Leave up. Right, and we pull this, and yes. Well, there's the hidden door you and Crowley were talking about. Creepy doorways a reoccurring motif I'm not too fond of. Let me guess, staying here to cover me again? You got it. This one's on you, detective. Try to avoid getting knocked out this time. <laughs> what the hell? What is all this? Magica, Alistair Crowley's Guide to Popular Wizard Game. The Gnot's Guide to Ghouls and Ghosts. Rituals for Modern Rituals. <laughs> These are all contraband occult books. This is quite a nasty treasure trove. I, why didn't I know about this stuff? That's a good point. Oh, a strange thing to see here. Uh, normal library fare this. Oh, a skull. Cool. Oh, the periodic table of secret magic elements. Necronomicon. Is that ne Necronomicon? Or is it... I don't know. Is, is, that, is that how you spell it? The Necronomicon? I'm not sure. A copy of Ripley's cast it or not. It seems to be open to some of the spirits page. Maybe if I close it, this whole mess will be itself and so out. Yeah, ouch. Seems to be charged by this faulty wiring. I wonder where it goes. Oh, the faulty wiring? Those loose wires seem to run to the roof. Oh, I need the fucking key. Can I go in the crawl space? A small hole. I don't fit, but maybe I can drop something down there to see where it lands. I hope this works. Oh, God. <laughs> Whoa, okay. Now to find where that landed. Hopefully without having caused any damage. So what are you doing here? Like the moth to a flame, I am drawn to the eldritch emergencies emitted from this book. I like spooky books and electricity. <laughs> Even lit candles to up the spook factor. Oh, that's cool. Yes, again, again. More destruction, more chaos. Ha <laughs> ha um, I think I'll just go ahead and see where that skull landed instead. So what are you doing here? Okay, so she hasn't really got anything going on with her life. That's cool. Uh, let's go and figure out where that went. I feel like that probably landed here somewhere. Yeah, there we go. What's all that noise? I can't hear myself read. So, kid, what did you know about the other side of that vent? I didn't mean to do it. Do what? I was lonely, so I went exploring. I found all these neat new books. But the one I read was scary and I ran off. Then the ghosts arrived, but I like them because I now have friends. See, he meant no harm. Troublemaker, arrest him, breaking and entering. Into your room of illegal books? Oh, let's say both set of charges cancel each other out. Only if you get rid of the ghosts and find him somewhere else to go for once in a while. He can join me in the blood wolves. Blood wolves? Oh, blood wolves. The mayor stopped paying the, the dub 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 tax. So we had to change from the scouts. You okay with that, kid? Sure. That's great. But put uh, but back to the task at hand. We need to stop the emergency the energy flying into the building. Uh, you need to get to the lightning conductor on the roof. Here, I have the key. Dooley, we're going to the roof, but it's raining outside. Okay, cool. That's all that sorted. That's pretty sweet. Right, let's go to the roof. Let's go off on to the roof. Hit the hit the top. Open the key. Uh, I suppose I've already ducked out of the room uh, on this case. I knew I played that card too soon. You did, buddy. You did. We all got to go outside. This is why I end up with the overdue fees. Every time I bring a book back, I end up on the roof in the rain. <laughs> Who wouldn't avoid that? What? I get up to adventures when you're not around, you know. I never... I don't just cease to be because uh, cause Frank McQueen's having a night in. Oh, yeah, good point. But Dark Side Detective, pff, it should be called the Occult Officer. Uh, I'm going to climb the ladder now, probably for the best. Oh, more of that wiring. Let's go. Yeah, do you need me to go all the way up there? Scared of heights? No. Yeah. Oh, hello. Okay. Junction box. So, what do I need to do? Get down as soon as possible? Looks like the circuit is connecting the book downstairs to this aerial. I guess I should break that circuit and then wire the aerial to the lightning rod so the power has somewhere to go. Okay, that's a good point. Uh, how do we? How do we? How do we do that though? How do? How do? How do? How do? How do? it. Oh no, it's one of them where you've got to move it all around. Oh god, this is gonna take me hours. Did it? That was actually quite quick. Wow. Ouch, my hand. Look, detective, the storm's dying out. Imagine that. Okay, we should be able to close the book now. Let's go down and close the book. That, that genuinely took me like 30 seconds. I have never done those that quickly before. Shut the book. And it's done, I think. 
Oh, the ghosties are gone. All the ghosties are going. Holy crap. Cool. That'll be everyone disappearing. Ever so slowly. Trunksville detective, though I don't see why I had to take all those books. Dooley, they're contraband. Heavy contraband. Ugh. We have an agreement then, Doris. You don't fire me for having the books. I don't sue the kid for entering the vault. I go back to business. Sans haunting. You should also get that wiring fixed. Ugh, oh, fine. Come on, Dooley. Let's get back to the office. See you, see you at camp, Mr. Dooley. See you there, Devon. Case closed. See, I nearly did this as a two-parter. I did nearly do this as a two-parter. I'm glad. I think what I will do is I'll keep these as episodes per. So every time I obviously do one, it'll be a full, complete episode. Because I don't really want to, like, stretch two out into, like, 15-minute uh, chunks. It's much nicer to have one case done. So, yeah, that was that was Time Alone. And this is Dark Side Detective. If you did enjoy, please uh, please let me know. And I'll, uh, I'll see you next time. Thank <laughs> you.